Yo, what up? It's your boy Janar from the Narcast. I'm about to do vlog number three, and I'm about to show you how to make some cute steaks. So come on over here. I'm gonna show you how we do it over here in East Village, 92101. So like I said earlier, we about to make some beef cube steaks right here. So come on over here real quick, show you how we do it. So I'm about to hit it up with some of the Cranola, because we healthy over here in East Village. So cube steaks, Cranola, about to hit it up. All right, now, now what's important, my Nardikins, is the seasoning. Got the stove on warm, about to hit up the Cranola here in a little bit. But most importantly, we want to worry about how we season our cube steak. For tonight, we want to be less sodium. So what we want to do is we want to go light on the seasoning tonight. Just because, you know, we're trying to watch our weight right here. You know, the Narcast and all his followers, we're trying to, you know, eat a little healthy. So I'm going to just do some salt and pepper. So that's what we're going to do tonight. We're going to do the salt and pepper. And I'm going to throw it in on the frying pan, pan. But while I season it, let me just tell you a little bit about what's going to be happening here in a little bit. Hopefully tonight or tomorrow night, I'm going to be doing our cast episode 73. And I'm going to have, like I said earlier in my blog number two, Gerald Walker from, I don't know if, I don't know if he's from Chicago or not, but so don't quote me on that. Just Gerald Walker, he's got a Christmas mix. Then I got Wicked Tomorrow, Courtesy Tear. Then I'm going to have a song from uh, Eric Mariscal. He's like 14, 15 doing his thing. So stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for the Facebook question. So I'm going to be doing it to it, all right? So pause it, Natalie Gayumi. And when I come back, you're going to see it frying on the pan. All right, so now I got the cube steaks doing its thing right here on the frying pan. We're cooking two of them. Just threw some spicy steak seasoning. So I did lie. I, instead of doing just salt and pepper, I'm also throwing some of that spicy steak seasoning right up in here. So grab yourself some of that. You can get it right there from Foods for Less. If you're on the East Coast, hit up Food Line or Win Dixie. Spicy steak. So we're almost done. I usually let my steaks cook on each side for about two minutes. And keep flipping them every two minutes. I like mine well done. Some like a medium rare, medium well, what gives you. But the Nardikins, the Nardcast, we like our joints medium well. So they're about done. Me and Natalie Gayumi, we're going to probably sit back and have some steaks. So enjoy the rest of the show. I'm out. Stay tuned for episode 73. Peace. All right, so we're down to the final stages of how to cook a cube steak with the Narcast. All you gotta do now, basically, take it off the pan. So let's go and do that. I'm about to serve it up. And that's how a nice cube steak looks once it's right off the frying pan. And our choice of si uh, sides will be spaghetti that was left over, made by our very own Natalie. Kayumi and a side of water <laughs> and I think that just might be it for uh, food tonight ladies and gentlemen about 600 calories of good eating right there first yo yo it's your boy Jannard again about to grub out spot y'all about to get the first taste of the cube steak <laughs> mm. even Pash Mash loving it see but anyway hmm this is some good cube steak. But what I wanted to say before I ended the whole vlog number three, how to cook with the Narcast, is I just wanna say, go ahead and send me some phone calls and leave a voicemail. I'm getting some new tags for the Narcast. So all you gotta do is call in and say, hey, you're listening to the Narcast, or greetings from wherever you live, or if you're in a band, say, oh, this is blah, blah, from whatever band. You're listening to the Narcast. You can say happy holidays, happy Merry Christmas. You're listening to the Narcast, whatever it is. I just want variations for the next couple of episodes. I'm going to try to get about three more in before the end of the year. So oh, call in, let, uh, do your Narcast plugs, and also I want to say happy three-year anniversary to your boy. <laughs>